In this video, we're going to take a look at how you can turn your Synology router into a media server that allows you to stream movies, music and photos to devices across your network. Synology used DLNA to allow their routers to act as media servers. DLNA, or to give it its full name, Digital Living Network Alliance, is an industry-wide standard that allows you to share data over your home network. However, before we can set up DLNA, we first need to connect some external storage to our router. As you can see here, I have my router connected to an external hard drive via a USB lead. If we now return to the Synology Router Manager, we need to open the Package Center and then locate Media Server. Media Server was created by Synology for their models of routers and as the description states is a package that will provide multimedia services to your router which will allow you to browse and playback content stored on your router. When we select Media Server, the latest version of Media Server is automatically downloaded and installed onto the router. Once the Media Server has installed, you're shown a firewall notification. This notification warns us that we will be opening ports on our firewall to allow internet access to our files over the internet. These ports are TCP 50001, TCP 50002 and UDP port 1900. We're going to click OK to apply these changes to our firewall. With the media server installation completed, we can close the package center. If we now select the main menu, you can see that we have a new media server icon. Let's select media server and review its options. The first set of options are called general settings and provide a basic description of what the media server does along with some changes that you can make to something called DMA. DMA or digital media adapter refers to a home entertainment device that connects to your home network and plays back media files. This could be a personal computer, games console, phone or tablet. The next set of options relates to browsing digital content. The first setting defines how music is displayed, in this case by title only. We also have a setting to define how photographs are organized. I'm using the default options which are by file name and in ascending order. We next have a tick box option that will allow us to transmit images at a lower resolution than the original files. This will allow us to browse through images more quickly. There is an option to display cover images and album art for audio and video files. An option to show video titles using the metadata embedded in a file. And finally an option to enable internet radio. DMA compatibility offers options to help with the playback of media files that would not normally run on your home entertainment devices. As DLNA does not support certain file types, for example OGG files, enabling auto transcoding makes the router convert a file before it is streamed to a home entertainment device. However, as this adds a load to the router's processor, I prefer to leave this option disabled and to make my music files MP3 and my video files MP4. Enable customize MIME types helps your home entertainment devices play back file types that they may not recognize can be played back. The final option allows you to restrict access to the files on your media server. Basically, this allows you to choose which devices can and cannot have access to your media files. Having reviewed the settings for media server, let's take a look at the folder structure that was created when we installed the media server package. If we open the control panel, and then select storage, we're shown a list of our shared folders. We have a public share which we created in a previous video, then three new folders, music, photo and video. These were automatically created when we installed the media server package and are the locations where we'll be storing our multimedia files. So let's set the permissions for our new folders so that we can add content for playback to our home entertainment devices. Starting with the music folder, you can see that the administrator account has read-write access. 
For the user account my doodads, I'm going to set read only access. This means that we will only be able to view the contents of this folder. I'm going to set the same permissions for the photo folder. But for the video folder, I'm going to give the my doodads account read write access. This is so that the account can view, delete and add files to the networked folder. This will allow us to take a closer look at how you add video content to the media server. In order to save the changes that I've made, I now need to click apply. With media server now installed and configured on our Synology router, let's take a look at how we add content and then play that content back on the PlayStation 4. While I'm using an Apple Macintosh computer in this example, the same basic principles apply if you're working in a Windows environment. So let's open a network connection to the Synology router and see if we can access the video folder. You can see all of the share points that we've created for our network. Let's try and open the video share. With the video share open, we're going to copy a video file to the share. We can now try and play back the file on the PlayStation 4. Before the PS4 is able to play back DLVA content, you have to install Media Player. As you can see, I've found Media Player in the PlayStation Store and have started to download it to the console. With Media Player installed, I could now select Start. Media Player will load and display the Synology router as a SharePoint option that I can select. When I select the Synology router, I'm presented with the music, photo and video folders. Opening the video folder, I can see the videos that I have available for playback. Selecting a video for playback will play back the video on the PlayStation 4. So to recap, we've looked at installing and setting up the media server package on a Synology router. We've seen how and where you can store the media files on the router. And we've seen how you can stream DLNA content to an entertainment device.